Hi guys, I have the July Rusty Peacock kit here. And this time I'm going to record it. Last time I opened it and did it and didn't record it. So let's start all over, okay? This thing is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, this is July and it is the travel kit to make a travel journal. You get the valve folder. You get this little valve folder pocket. You get fabrics. You get this thing above. Yeah, it goes across the top page. But really, you put them on the side page too. I have done that. You get these two little thingamabobs. bobs. I have to go watch the video to see. I tried not to watch the video until I got my kit because I didn't want to have a preconceived notion of what to do. You get a film strip. Interesting looking. There's a man, two men and a woman in it. Okay, you get a little airplane. It's the cutest little thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at that. A tag. This is a box that says Born Bon Voyage. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this for yet. But I'm assuming this is like a little case, a little, yeah, you know what I'm saying, trunk. Oh, these go in here for the handles. Okay. The little thing with bobs go right there for the handle. There's some more tags. Some more fabric. Some twine for your tags. A paper bag that had all this stuff in it, but, you know, I recorded it once. You just didn't see it. You get some vintage photos, some corner steamer jiggers, and you get way too many stamps in here. Seriously, I mean, I'm sorry. These are not going in here. I have some of those I'll put in here, but these are from 1946, 1951, 1951, uh, 1946. And 1946 and I collect stamps so these are going in that and I have some that are not as old as those that will go in here you get three coin envelopes you get three canceled checks and this was freaking awesome because one is made out to Frank Russell July 18th 1936 for $7.68 and it has a signature on the back and I need to check to double check the year, but this may be part of my family history, so that's not going in there. Um, and two more from 1936. That's kind of cool. This is Stanley Durst. And this little Doom of Flippy is already scored, so it looks like a a spine to something so I have to go look at the video but it looks like a mini journal spine could be wrong we'll see but I could use it for that too and you get a airmail envelope you get this this huge pile of stamps again these are not going in here these are going over here and these will be replaced with something else because they're not going in here because of the years on them. So you get these two bags, which are pretty cool. I guess they're envelopes, actually. But they're cool. Um, you get this envelope. Oh, I didn't see the postcard earlier. Maybe I did. From... I uh, can't even read it. Clarence Newman. But it was never mailed. But it is a a birthday postcard. How cool is that? And then this is from 1930. I'm thinking that's the six. This doesn't have a date, but it's probably the same as this because it's the same person. 
And, you know, that's what I'm trying to get people to understand, in genealogy especially. B-O-Z-A-K. B-O-Z-E-K. Just because it's not spelled the same doesn't mean it's not the same person. It means the people didn't know how to spell. So you get this envelope, and it is from Austria. Australia. And I can't see the year on it, but it's cool. Another foul folder. It has all the patterns for all the stuff you need to make your little booklet with. Tons of patterns. Which you can keep forever and use over and over. You yeah. get cardstock, cardstock. And check out all of this. I mean, seriously. This is. This has a lot of stuff in here. It is going to be an awesome, awesome drum. Just too cool. Immigration identification card. I couldn't say the name, but I wanted to. But look at these. Wouldn't these make adorable little mini journal covers, too? It's passport covers, but it would be cute for a journal cover. And you have it. You can copy it. So I have this big map. Another map. Some graph paper. Another map. Another map. Look at this. This just stunned me. This is very old. And I'm not sure. It says on here 1935, 1931, 1935. Um, I'm not sure if this is a tenant ledger, real estate sales, or what. But this is 12-122. So it could be he's either sold stuff. Because see, this says two roots, one corn, and 13. I can't make it out. But the rest of them are like... Oh, this is alfalfa. This is roots. Okay, bales of hay. So it's not a tenant ledger. It is stuff that people have... He has sold. Wow. Maybe people still owe him because he's got different dates by all of them. This is too cool. And you guys, anybody knows me knows I am a history of Hollywood. Leonard Paul, that's cool. William Brumley. There'd probably not be people, but hey, they is will not be unique because they're famous people. 42423. <laughs> no, this is somebody else doing this writing. Because you can't even read it now. Check this out. J.R. Churchill. Now, wouldn't it be something if it was the Churchill family? That would be too cool. Really cool. So then you get another foul folder. And that's it. But you get a lot of stuff. And her Etsy shop is the Rusty Peacock. It's $35 for the kit. You don't subscribe. You buy it by the month as you want it. You want this one. You're not going to get the good stuff because I already got it mine. But, you, yeah, I'm kidding. I mean, this is awesome. Look at your dates on this. I've got more than my money's worth right here in stamps. Seriously. I've got more than my money's worth in the stamps. If this turns out to be my Frank Russell, who's in my family, and I can prove he was in Ziegler, Illinois at the time, 
1936, this is invaluable because it is his signature. So, yeah. Anyway, I suggest you get the Etsy and get your one before they're all gone. And I will see you soon. If you make one, let me know. Um, send me a message with the link to your video in it so I can go see what you do with yours. And I'll get mine made and do a video on it. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.